Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from assortofinterestinglife.com and today we are going to look at the pot support and the large stainless steel cook set that go along with the Kelly kettle. If you haven't heard of a Kelly kettle or seen how they operate then basically it's this fantastic uh, kettle device that basically doesn't need any sort of non-natural fuel I suppose you could say and you can basically create a little fire in the bottom half here so it's separate and the kettle itself is a sort of tube with the water being trapped between the outside and the inside so basically all of the heat from the fire underneath goes straight up and as, mu as much contact and surface area with the boiling water on the inside and basically here we have got ourselves a few extras to go with it so first of all we'll have a look at the pot support and this, as well as boiling the water itself, while that's going on, you can literally use this to pop on the top there and then start heating up pans and such things as well as boiling at the same time. So, this is all very efficient stuff. Let's dive in and have a closer look. Now, the first thing you'll notice as well is that the pot support comes in this extremely um, thin small uh, package so that definitely if you're going out walking or camping or in my case likely walking camping and kayaking then that's definitely something that is a bonus <coughs> whoops <laughs> right and this as you can see is pretty much as simple as you could possibly make something two sheets of metal a simple straight up pot support slot in cross like that and there you have it there is your pot support and it's got to be said instantly feel that that isn't going to wobble and go over um, with a uh, considerable force and we pop that in the top there let's have ourselves a look now and fetch the camera in and that's pretty much as straightforward and simple as anything can be now on to the Kelly Kettle cook set this is um, the large one for base camp and scout models. This is the scout model kettle. And let's dive right in and have a look. I suppose actually better have the traditional 360 of the box first. Right, now let's dive in. Like I say, I am very excited to get this back on board and take this out on me little kayaking trips. And I'm thinking this is going to be one of the most used items that I've had this year. And if you say that it's only the middle of January, that's going to be a pretty big uh, claim to live up to. So if we have ourselves a look here, first of all, we've got our pot. And let's pop this out. Once again, these are feeling good quality, nice and sturdy, not uh, thin or flimsy. Out comes our... Uh, nice uh, gripper handle there and finally this is a two-piece grill and I'll show you exactly how this works in just a second uh, it's pretty straightforward right so if you're familiar with this sort of thing then you'll know you've got your handle here which is nice and simple straightforward so you can lift things up and obviously that's nice and secure and the tighter you hold it the tighter its grip on the pot is and also the fact that it's just simple to remove means that that's not going to be getting too hot over the fire and that sort of thing. And similarly, this here. Um, this, I believe, also is a pot lid. Or well, certainly can be used as one. Although, <laughs> to be very careful then when it comes to try and take that off. <laughs> so, you can obviously, as we've just seen, use this on top of the pot support. Which, even though they're sold separately, obviously they can work together. So for argument's sake, let's pop that on there and then stick that on top. You can see instantly it's pretty straightforward and simple and you've got your full water boiling and whatever's in the pot getting heated up. It says it needs to be stirred regularly because the heat is intense. So that's definitely a good sign that it's going to be very efficient. But if we fetch this down here, then what we also want to have a look at, if we move that to one side, is the two-piece grill. Now this is as straightforward as it can be. You would obviously have the fire going in here, maybe from the kettle already boiled or something like that. But basically, you'd have your fire going on in there. Um, 
If you put the grill over, then obviously that means you can't really drop stuff in to add uh, more fuel. But obviously you've still got this hole there which you can put more fuel into. And line that up. Suddenly you've got a nice platform directly over the fire, which has still got a good hole for the draft to go through. And as simple as that, you have then obviously got this once again as your um, simple cooking setup. And that is even simpler than having the kettle on it. So that's going to be even more directly right on top of the fire. Hopefully burning and, well not burning your food, uh, hopefully the fire is burning very warm and heating your food very quickly, which I'm quite sure at that sort of level and proximity it will be. And it's got to be said, you can't really ask for much more than this. So we've got three things here, the Kelly Kettle uh, Scout size, the pot support, which is that part on the top, and then the uh, cook set, this is the large cook set for the Scout and the Base Camp model. And it's pretty much everything that you would wish it to be. I really, I am very excited. I don't know if it's coming through in my voice and my wild hand gestures, but I am looking forward to getting this out and getting this proper in action. And I think I'm probably going to end up uh, going back to the boat tonight and then first thing tomorrow morning, move down the canal a little bit and then get this going on the deck. Absolutely fantastic stuff. One thing I'm just going to say about the uh, cook set, which I forgot to mention, is that it all fits into the base. So you still can keep, obviously, your grill parts and your pans and handle in the same basic size footprint as the kettle itself. Just thought I'd better throw that in there because that's a very handy feature to point out. Right, I will say thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at a few various products. Um, make sure you subscribe for a load more outdoorsy sort of stuff and I'm talking everything from living on a narrowboat to up walking in the Welsh hills, uh, camping, kayaking and goodness knows what else throughout the year. So make sure you subscribe, like the Facebook page, check out my other videos, uh, feel free to add my personal account on Facebook and until the next time just have a fantastic day and I will see you around soon. Farewell.